Just for fun, here's a breakdown of the culprits in this book. In this case, culprit means someone whose name appears in the puzzle solution. The only reason Miss Scarlet is on this list is because one solution lists all six characters. I think we just solved the mystery of who the author's favorite character is. Argofunk book review, Argofunk book review. This review was commissioned through Patreon. Patreon, give me your money. We start with Mr. Body explaining he didn't die at the end of the last book. He just got hit with a wrench which accidentally flew across the kitchen, and then across the hallway, and then across the room, and then hit him on the head. Totally normal, right? Case 1. In the story of the secret, secret passage, Professor Plum finds secret passages. He accidentally gets the other guests stuck inside them. The guests change positions twice, and you have to reread carefully to discover that the murderer behind the grandfather clock is Mr. Green. Case 2. Colonel Mustard is in a bad mood, so he challenges people to duels for ridiculous reasons. He and Green start a duel by walking 20 paces, but they end up walking into walls. The weapons used in the duel are the knife, the revolver, the rope, one of the three remaining weapons, either the wrench or the revolver, and then something that's not gold. What's the last weapon? It's the gold candlestick. Case 3. Our friends have a joke contest, and they fight over who is funniest. They vote for the funniest person, white, green, or scarlet. White wins, green gets two votes, and scarlet voted for herself. Who voted against her? White got more votes than Green, who got two, so White got three votes. Three plus two equals five, so everyone voted against Miss Scarlet. Case four. Everyone changes their wills so Mrs. White can inherit their money. She immediately decides to kill them all and take the money for herself, because she's greedy and awful. She plans to kill Peacock first, but everyone switches rooms. Green and Plum switch, Peacock and Scarlet switch, Plum and Scarlet switch, who's the first victim? Plum. I gave all the clues, but I'm not sure people can watch this video and solve the puzzles on their own unless they write down everything I say. Sorry. Unlike last book, there is no mystery with a list of clues that I can take a picture of easily. Case 5. Everyone watches a murder mystery movie. Peacock tries to interrupt by using the various weapons. All the weapons are capitalized in this book, as if they're people. It's cute. The last two weapons are the revolver and the pipe. Peacock uses the short weapon, then the weapon that's long and thin. Which one did she use last? It's the pipe, because that's the only weapon that can be described as long and thin. I don't know. I think the gun could also fit that description. I give this case half a point at... Wait... Wait, whoops. <laughs> For a second there, I confused this with my Encyclopedia Brown review series. Case 6. Plum created a plasma that heals any wound. He accidentally stabs Mustard and tries to cure him with the plasma, but he forgot where it is. We're given four clues which are along the lines of this. It could be the hall, the study, the conservatory, the dining room, or the kitchen. That's not a very helpful clue. <laughs> You want to reread all four clues carefully, and you'll notice the study is the only room which is mentioned in every clue, therefore it's the answer. K7. Everyone does a talent show, and they accidentally hurt each other. Every single person is hurt once. Plum is injured, followed by a woman and two of the men. Then Mrs. White injures someone. Who is it? You can eliminate the men, since all three of them were hurt. Since White's victim is female, it's either Scarlet or Peacock. That's as far as the clues take you. We have a trick solution. Only Peacock was mentioned in the question, therefore she's the answer. Case 8. It is Halloween and everybody has a fancy costume. You need to read carefully and figure out who's in which costume. Four of the character costumes are said outright. The male vampire says he wants to talk to Mustard. That's your clue that the vampire is the only remaining male who's not mustard. This helps you get the last two characters. Uh, last three characters, actually. Sorry. Case 9. Plum accidentally stole a million dollars from the bank. Everybody steals the money from each other, and you want to figure out who the culprit is. I wrote out all of the clues, so you viewers can pause the video and try to solve the case on your own. 
Since the women are all accounted for, the suspect is male. It's not green, and Plum didn't attack himself, so Mustard is the culprit. Case 10. Mr. Body builds a pyramid filled with fabulous riches. The guests try to kill him to get the treasure. The culprit who succeeds is somebody with gloves who stands in a doorway. This is a bit of a double mystery. Half of the guests have gloves, while the other half have green shoes. You want to reread and go through the clues to determine that only women are wearing green shoes. I wonder why the last four cases of the book all require you to sort the suspects by gender. Once you know the culprit is a man, you deduce it's green, because he's the only man who's short enough to get through the door without ducking. So, Green was the official culprit for books one and two. I don't trust him anymore. The end. Post-book follow-up. This book is an improvement over the previous one. It immediately starts off with slapstick humor, setting the tone for the book. Last book started with a murder mystery tone, which fits the board game, but not the book, and it took a while for it to get really going with the humor. The series is definitely more focused on mayhem than murder, so starting off with comedy in this book was the right choice. It's also better than the previous book because it has 10 mysteries, not 13. That's going to be standard from now on. I liked having longer stories. And there are four pages in the back of this book for notes in case you want to work out solutions on your own. So there are three ways this book is an improvement over the previous one. Yeah. I still can't think of a fair way to score these books, so I give clue number two, the secret, secret passage, a thumbs up.